Okie dokie. We are Friday, January 19th. I am on my way to deliver my first order for today and it's 1 p.m. I don't think I'm gonna schedule myself in the morning anymore. I thought it was the right thing to do, but since I went over 70 seconds per item on Instacart, I don't see the bigger orders anymore. I kind of knew it was, I don't know, I, I'm kind of tired about everything. This order is $29 going six miles. Everything was in stock, hallelujah. It is a house, I mean, it's a townhouse. I am tired because I keep coming early because I thought I would get more orders and I just don't. I guess it's because it's a mix of January plus weekdays. It's like the deadly combo. Uh, because literally nothing's Continue happening. I've been having problems with parking at my house. <sighs> I feel like I it, it's never ending. Like, you know the issues at this new house? I feel like it's never ending. So basically, when I moved in, before I moved in, I went to visit the place, right? And they said, well, we don't provide parking, even though there is a lot of space in the driveway for me to park. Plus, there are two cars. I have a Mini Cooper. It's not like I have a pickup truck. You know what I mean? It's not like I have a Hummer. But basically they were like, well, um, we have to park in a certain way for our cars to charge because they have electric cars. So they were like, it's better, it's easier for us if you park in the street and there is never anyone parking in front of the house anyways. So you will be able to park in front of the house every single day which has been proven to be a lie, um, a gigantic lie. And basically I have not been able to park in front of my house 90% of the time. Um, and yesterday I had to park on literally another street. I had to literally drive and park on the cross street because there, there was literally no available parking anywhere. And those people, the, the neighbors, they all make it a point to never park in front of other people's mailboxes, except us. Us, it's okay. We are the only house where they will park in front of our mailbox. So the, the one of the neighbors, because I live in a dead end, okay? We live in the curb, like in the turn of the dead end. And basically, one of the neighbor who has a three spot vehicle in his driveway will park two cars in his driveway and then park his third car in front of our house where I'm supposed to park. He already has a Dodge in front of our house. Um, so basically there are three spots in front of our house and he parks one black car then he parks his Dodge, and then he parks the car that is usually in the driveway. It, he used to park it in the driveway, and for about two weeks now, he's been parking it um, in front of our house. For whatever mysterious reason. And I am tired of it, because usually I can, fi I can find parking not too far away from the house, so I'm like, okay, whatever. Uh, it, it, it makes me mad because why would you park in front of my house when you have a driveway where you can park literally in front of yours but okay whatever this weekend is gonna be raining and again i'm pretty sure i'm not gonna be able to park in front of the house because i don't know why they park in front of our house i just don't know why they've never done this before like since i moved in they've never done this before before it was the neighbor that is on the right side of our house and then they understood that I live here. I think they all understood that now I'm parking here because I live here. They see me open the mailbox, they see me go inside the house. Like it's not really, you don't need to be Nostradamus to understand that I live here. So they all park in front of, the, of their own house now, which I don't know why they, would, they were not doing this before, but okay, whatever. Now they understood and it's really nice and I really appreciate it. And I was able to park in front of the house multiple times until this neighbor, who is on the other side, 
now parks in front of our house for whatever mysterious reason. Like they used to park this car in their driveway. There is space to park this car in their driveway, but they don't. They literally will move their car from the driveway to in front of our house after I leave. So they take the spot from me. Like it, it makes no sense whatsoever. I've never seen those people anyway. I've never spoken to them. I've never said anything to them. So it's not like we are, we have some beef and they're trying to be mean. I've never seen those people before. When I drive this week, I've been working like 10 to 12 hour days. And honestly, when I come back home at night, the last thing I want to do is to search for parking because the neighbor who has space in front of his house decided to park in front of my house. I'm scared to ask and then they will say no and then I'm because I'm not gonna ask again. So there's no footage because she came out. Uh, I actually already delivered to her once and I don't know why it made me go this way. It was so much longer this way. So the base pay is $8 and I accepted it for 29. So she tipped pretty well, $21. It has not been my week, let's say it this way. All right, I don't know how long I've been waiting, honestly. <laughs> This is a $26 order on Uber. Haven't been receiving anything at all. All right. She gave instructions, pretty detailed. So that's this. which is pretty amazing a year and a half ago you didn't have to do all of this bullshit scheduling and top dasher and platinum status and whatever bullshit they have now I would go online and I would get orders after orders after orders now nobody has freaking money nobody that no one is, is either they order and they don't tip or they don't order anymore the people who used to order all the time just don't anymore everyone's f grandmother is doing uber and doordash now you have 15 instacart drivers at each goddamn store you go to you go to any plaza that you in any city in the u.s and you will find at least five doordash drivers in big cities, I, I, I hear, not small cities. But it, this is so frustrating. Before, I used to live five miles away from the store, or six. I would get orders from my house, six miles away. Just to give you an idea of how little drivers there were. Now, if I'm not in the freaking parking lot, or even in the store sometimes I don't get orders I used to do drizzly deliveries which were which was through DoorDash now Uber bought them three years ago and now they are shutting the drizzly uh, in, uh, interface I guess they was they will still do like alcohol orders but it will not be through drizzly Drizzly has a specific website, they have an app as well, and they used to go through DoorDash. And I was making a lot of money with Drizzly orders, alcohol orders, a lot of money, a lot of money. I could make $100 in three hours, like that's what I was doing before. And then they got bought by Uber and DoorDash stopped sending them, obviously. And I just stopped seeing alcohol orders altogether. I just stopped. I never see them anymore. And then I took a break of like about a six month, nine month break from the apps. And then I came back and I started doing the shopping orders, right? Which are still decent when you get them. You know what I mean? So I feel like 
it's been I don't understand how some people do DoorDash and Instacart and Uber on the side <clears throat> just part time but still I don't know I don't understand how the people who never do those apps get the better orders the biggest orders the 50 item orders when they don't know the store they don't know anything about shop and pay but they still get the orders with worse ratings than me I don't know I, I'm just I feel like I'm just very frustrated with myself I guess uh, because I know some people are gonna be like you just have to raise your acceptance rate on DoorDash and you will receive the best orders that's a lie <laughs> I had my acceptance rate reset last year, I don't know if you guys remember, and nothing fucking happened. I did receive a good, a few good shop and pay orders, but that's it. I was not receiving any food deliveries over $10 less than two miles. Uber used to be my best app. I used to get so many shopping orders all the time. You guys remember, it was not that long ago. And then this weird shopper came with the dog that got banned from the store because he attacked a customer. And since then, it has not been the same. Since he came, um, the, the, my account has just not been the same. And no one, no one's account has been the same. Like my friend, she, it's the same. We used to work together all the time. We used to... Uh, get order after order we used to be in the store more than the up the, the the employees now it's like we don't get anything for sometimes three hours none of us and we're three or four uber drivers like hanging out there so i don't know what's going on but I, it's just frustrating to me what are you doing bro wearing a mask in his own car you know those people so yeah I don't know I don't know what's going on I'm frustrated with everything people are gonna say it's January it's slow people don't have money it's almost tax season people are gonna have to pay taxes so they're not gonna order food blah 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 I know all of that last year I need to I need to double check how much I made in January I made pretty good money last year in January so I don't know actually I don't really know what to say anymore but yeah sorry I was just venting for 10 minutes all right $16 on DoorDash <clears throat> Uber is bugging I received a tip for my previous order but it's not showing Waiting. There's a dude delivering to the exact same apartment, arriving at the exact same time. Oh, she tipped four dollars, one dollar peak pay for whatever reason. DoorDash hasn't been given, hasn't been given a peak pay for like I don't know four years, and now every single day we have peak pay. Make it make sense. Literally, it makes no sense at all. There are no orders. 6 p.m. I've been here for seven hours and I've made uh, 70 dollars. Like how sad is this? All right, got my first Instacart order for the day. 28 bucks going across the street. All right, I'm pretty sure I cannot use my cart because there are stairs at the front of the building, so I actually don't know how I'm gonna do. 
break my back, I guess. He has like a gazillion stairs just to get to the front door of the building. Service. I'm tired, nothing's happening. <sighs> 